aware of the time, uh -huh. you know? And number five, that's a matrix, a matrix levels. If I kicked in that door, that level door, then I was in a matrix. And then I wasn't aware of time, of pain, of anything, but I was so focused on it. Like you said, I could, could go on for 10 rounds at least. So this is almost, uh, I'm tingling while you're talking about this, it's brilliant. So it's almost like a spiritual, you step beyond um, being mortal. Like you say, you go into the matrix and you Ram, can't be that. It was spiritual. Yeah. I'm not sure it's Us. spiritual. Us. Yes, I love it. So Great here we thing. go. Contest number 10 here at Senshi 16. Heavyweights again, Grant. Here we go. Heavyweights again. Big hitters. Woo. Nice kick there. From Somehow. Nikola Filopovic from Serbia. Somehow I see a little bit more explosive in the movements, the acceleration. Yeah, we have Moldova facing Serbia here. Yeah, Raslov Linic from Moldova. He's in the red gloves with the black shorts and he's facing uh, Nikola Filopovic from Serbia with the blue gloves and black blue and red shorts with the Serbian flag and I have to say Filopovic looks in great shape for a heavyweight tall rangy muscular not carrying much fat but as we've said it before never judge a book by its cover solid stand beautiful stance like I said, he's accelerating, so for a heavyweight, you see some explosiveness, but blah, maybe they're gassing out too, so we what, don't know. What, what do you think? The, a lot of guys are flat-footed. Both these guys here, they're not, their back heel isn't off the ground. When I was boxing, you know, that was like a golden rule, that, that back heel has to be off the ground. You're on mm. your toes, so you can push forwards and backwards without being off balance. And, not, and if your opponent rushes you, you're not stuck. Oh, Ooh. these are big bombs being thrown. It's like you said, Grant, you know, the footwork is so important. And I think, you know, in kickboxing, we're missing that too much. So if you could implement it into a few kickboxes, then th that would be already a big change. Mm. change. So I would love to see these guys, heavyweights, being more light on their feet. But as we can see right now, you know, Nikola Filipovic, some nice scores. And it's possible you look at somebody like Tyson Fury, who's uh, 200 and whatever he is, 80 pounds, 19 stone. He's bouncing around like a middleweight. Iroslav Linic. 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 Moldovan, so brother. Moldovan. You should have a little uh, pip above the sea there. Ah, of course. Get rid of that ch. So they're trying to find each other's range. Filopovic from Serbia. Oh, he's throwing a big right hand, which is glancing at times. But Linic, he's got quite a crisp jab. Last 10 seconds of this first round. And, well. No, still Grant, I think, you know, on the end of the round, you see a little bit, they are getting a little bit tired, a little bit sore, hands down, uh, mm -hmm. acting like uh, they don't want to, uh, they don't get hit here that easy, you know, and <coughs> in my opinion, I'm so sorry, guys. <coughs> in my opinion, it's always like, you know, faking, faking the, that you're tired. Mm. Let's see faking? They, yeah, faking. You know, when you go hands down and try to slip and step backwards, you know. Uh -huh. If you do it really fast and uh, solid, you know, then I wouldn't say anything. But hanging backwards, hanging on your back like, you know, and just right on time, you let somebody miss and don't come back. You know, it's always just the last power you have to not get hit. Mm. But we'll see. I think... Uh, I don't know if we saw one low kick thrown in that first oh, round. Oh, yes, they did, they did one. One? Uh, Nicola. Okay. <laughs> All right, low kick. So 
starting off pretty fast both. Especially Aroslav Linic. Linic. Yeah, now Filopovic has got the range here. Whoop. But, uh, dramatic. That's a kick. Um, That's a great job. Nobody's throwing any combinations or setting anything up. It's one thing um, that's uh, this Dutch style of kickboxing. Boom, boom to the body, one upstairs and finish off with that low kick. It's poetry in motion. Um, and it's effective. That's a nice body kick. Yeah, we used to have a lot of volume in our hands, uh, have body level changes, end up with kicks. And hey, what are you doing? Always keep your hand There's up. that kick again. That's going to take its toll. Oop. Watch it. Back of the head. Linich is turning his back away too much, in my opinion. There you go. Maybe there that's goes. got him fired up a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he goes. That was two knees in the clinch there. If you hold with both hands, you can land one knee strike. Then you either separate. You can hold on for a few more seconds, but the referee's going to separate you and keep the action going. That's all part of these Senshi full contact rules. Continuous action. That's what we want to see. Oh, Whoa, that, that was the big hand. right hand, which is acknowledged. There's that body kick again. And Linich is starting to blow. I feel that if um, Filipovic can find his range, but he's got to set it up. Yeah, it's one, two left hook, or, or uh, that's yeah. a nice left hook. He's walking in front, you know, and waiting for the half distance while he could do a little bit more before he comes in the half distance. Little jabs, little kicks on, on the inside leg, outside leg, and then using a lot of volume and speed. And there the, are the opportunities when you're in the right range. But So here we go. They're here the last 10 seconds of this uh, second round. <sighs> Almost connected the high, left high kick from Philip Hitch. So, after two rounds of action in our heavyweight division, what can we say right now, uh, Grant? What did you? What did we saw? Well, the crisper work, and probably the more damaging is definitely coming from Filipovic. Um, I like the body kicks he's throwing to the right midsection. It was a little bit higher, but uh, that kick there is scoring and being effective. He's Lynch. only throwing single shots but he's landing more of the damaging punches. So? Uh, Linic is trying, he's keep, keep on trying, Linich, head hunting. He, yeah, he's head hunting, but he's being thrown off his stride. He, he's trying to find an opening, but neither guy are setting anything up. So they're they're not now? throwing any feints. He's going to the white corner. What's going on? Should that be a strategy? Ooh. Well, confuse your partner. Yeah. Make him think you're not there. <laughs> They're both uh, in a neutral corner. Interesting. Um. Okay. Well, little hug there as we enter the third and final round. There goes Linich. Yep. Linich knows he's got work to do here. But has he got the gas to do it? Three minutes left. And one thing 
Uh, well, one thing that used, uh, used to frustrate myself, if ever I finished a fight and there was 1% left in me, I was frustrated. Because that's 1% you could have put into the fight. You could use, exactly. Uh, you need to finish the fight literally empty. What do they say? Losing is never bad if you've given 100%. But not giving 100% is unforgivable. Totally agree, John. So a minute gone. He's Big guys. Out. Yeah, he's gassing out our friend lineage. Um, that should be an opportunity for Filipovic, but he's a little bit using some body language, some boxing movement style, leading off downwards, and there he goes for the kick again. But you see how sharp he was then. His mm. body twitched and moved. He's not showing us everything he's got. That's what I feel also. That's what I see too. He isn't hungry enough, it looks. Yep. Uh, and we go back to that word desire. Exactly. Come on. Can you smell butt, blood? Well. You need to eat. Interestingly, um, Filipovic, this is his third outing in the Senshi ring. And in his last fight, he won by KO. Um, he's got under a minute left. He still can repeat that. I think it's very possible. But he's still throwing those single shots. I'd like to see some combinations. Lead with the jab. Nice body shot. Big overhand right. It's such a shame that they are so limited. You know, uh, maybe Flip Fitch has a right, really good right punch, you know, and he knocked the guys out with it, you know, and there is no plan B afterwards. Mm. So far, I think, you know, that's what I'm... What well, I'm if saying. you look at their credentials, they're both former world champions. Uh -huh. um, European champions. <sighs> former six times Moldovan K1 champion is uh, Lineage. So I would have liked to have seen more from both of them. And the decision is in the hands of our judges. But at the end of three rounds of action, and maybe we're being spoiled here by the uh, fast-paced start to the evening with the lighter weights, but after three rounds, I think it's going to be a hard one for the judges. But Filipovic from Serbia is going to edge it for me. Three rounds to nothing. Um, you were right, he fought the, the, the fight he fought, so I think you're right too. But here at Senchi, it's not enough to do just enough. Mm -hmm. We don't want to see that. We, we want to see, you, we don't want to see you give 100%. We want to see these guys giving 110%. Leave it all in the ring, fellas. This is Senchi. Judge two scores the fight. 27 30, just three scores of fight. 28 30 for the winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner. Nikola Filipovic. There you go, Grant. You're there victorious we go. tonight. Yeah, well, will be given by Sensei with all your predictions. Sokol. I wonder if you can bet, bet on the next event. Um, Just tell, tell me, okay? A I put my money on you. <laughs> I gave my money on to you. <laughs> so. That takes us, where are we? Now, we move on to fight number 11, an under, kilo, under 80 kilogram contest. And this will be in the KWU open rule set, which is basically mixed martial arts. Once the photos and trophies are out of the way. Uh, with Jan Suku giving the awards, but also he's going to ref the next fight, right? Yeah. And he's a legend in uh, Czech Republic. A Kaika Shenkai champion and a real genuine... You could even see, uh, if you wanted to look at someone just by the way they stand, are they a martial artist? 